Hey YouTube, Sandy Frank here. Today I'm going to be doing the uh, fifth part in this 151 card PSA value bulk submission um, blind reveal. I sent these off so long ago and now they're back. And we're getting to enjoy the reveal of these. Very fun doing uh, Pokemon reveals from PSA. Any, any PSA reveals are fun. All right, let's get going. Um, if you'll, you'll notice our stacks, there are 10 stack, nines, eights, and sevens. At one time, these were all pretty much even, but we've been getting a little bit more, uh, more recent cards, and so the nines and tens have definitely gone up. And this looks like another older card here. Definitely a little bit of a scuff on the back. Um, by the way, we like to take a look at the cards and try to guess the grades. Definitely some wear on those bottom edges. And that, like this has been played before. People have gotten their love out of this card. And it's a Rapidash. First edition from Jungle. Um, Front looks pretty good. I would say it's probably a seven though with the edge wear. Yep. PSA seven. When they see a lot of play, it's been done on the card, even though it might not be uh, um, creased or anything, it's probably going to get a seven. Like this. You notice that corner, a lot of whitening. That means it's been shuffled in decks and played. Definitely a couple of white tips there. Aerodactyl. This is um, fossil. A lot of scratches on the hollow. But, I mean, it's an old, original Wizard of the Coast card. Pretty sweet art. I'm going to say that's probably a 6. It's pretty, pretty severe scratching. Yeah, PSA 6. Um, definitely fair grade on that. I did not send in like really crispy minty uh, vintage cards in this order. They're mostly the ones I picked over um, after sending in two or three submissions that um, they were kind of the ones left over. I was like, God, ah, just go ahead and send them all. All right, unless they were obviously creased or something, I, I wouldn't send them. There's a couple of white spots in these corners and one there. Um, I would say it's definitely thinner on this side. Oh, it's an Eevee, Radiant Collection Eevee from the uh, Legendary Treasures. Um, I've been getting eights on these, so I'm going to guess an eight. Ah, I don't get a nine. I wish my Pikachu would have got a nine, but there we go, Eevee with a nine. Okay, this card has some dust on the back. Just on the uh, the slab. Now there is something there. A very slight, like indention on the card. I think that's the card and not the case. It could be the case. Um, some wear on those edges, like we've been in the corners. We've been discussing a little bit. I think the back of this case is just scuffed. Thanks, PSA. <laughs> Alright, this one is the Bulbasaur from Base Set. Overall, pretty nice. I mean, I, I could see that getting an 8. A 5. Well, wow, I was way off on that. That must be an actual indention on the card. Alright. Well, there's no arguing it. It's an old card. It's been played for sure. This one, white dot, some whitening, white dot there. Pretty, pretty nice overall on the back, just some white dots in the corners. Hypno from Fossil. Um, I could see this getting an eight. Yep, PSA eight, rare Fossil card. Our next 
Tom Card in the submission. Definitely a little bit of whitening in some of these corners, so it's definitely been shuffled and played. Not as much as some of the other ones. Oh, Dragonite from Fossil. Cool looking Dragonite. Can we get a seven on this? Ah, oh, they gave us a six. Unlucky. All right. Now the back of this card looks really good. I really don't see any whitening anywhere. Nicely centered. Oh, Tyranitar. Uh, this is uh, from Fates Collide Reverse Hall. I have no idea why I sent this other than I just thought it looked cool. It is a pretty cool looking Reverse Hall. Um, they were still doing like hollow pattern Reverse Hollows. If you notice that hollow pattern, this Sword and Shield reverses are not hollow at all. They're just like a little bit of foiling on there and are not as cool as the old old style um, reverse hollows. So this is from Fates Collide. That looks like a 10 to me. I didn't see anything wrong in the back. The front center looks good too. Ooh, PSA 10 Tyranitar reverse hollow. This might be a very low pop card because I bet you hardly anybody sent that card in. I don't even really know why I did. I just thought it looked cool. And it was cheap to grade back then. This card... Um, I see a slight skew, but other than that, it's pretty good. All the edges and corners look good. Alone Golem GX from Crimson Invasion. I honestly think that looks like a PSA 10. It looks more like a PSA 10 than some of the other cards that we've had that did get 10s. Yep, Jim Mint, PSA 10. That's pretty cool. Bet you there's not a ton, ton of those as PSA 10s. This one has a little bit of an edge, a couple white dots there on that, that corner. It's a little bit thicker on the bottom. Ooh, Blissey. Now that's a pretty nice Blissey. This is from Neo Revelation. Now, I see a nice uh, big fat swirl right over there. That's a cool artwork and actually really nice condition vintage card. That might be the nicest uh, vintage card we've had in this order. I don't see binder dents. I do see very slight little scuffs and a couple of tiny scratches. Will they give us a couple little tiny scratches and still give us an 8? That would be a pretty awesome grade. I think PSA 8s are great grades on Wizard of the Coast cards. Now, of course, 9s and 10s are really good, but I always, to me, a PSA 8 vintage card is a fine addition to a collection. Ah, 7. Well... It does have hollow scratches. They're very slight, and there is a printing line there. So, oh, that is a strong seven, though. That's a beautiful looking card. Just fell short. Kind of a big white spot there. Definitely in the corners have little white spots. Definitely very thin on top. A Swampert POP series. I like the POP series cards, but they don't get much love out there. And let me tell you, you want to talk about collecting low pop cards? These uh, POP series hollows are extremely low pop. This is from series one, 2004. It's like the EX era. Really cool artworks too. Um, I would say this is maybe an eight because the centering is kind of bad. Yep, PSA eight. So that's a, about as good of a grade as that card could have ever gotten. That probably means my hollows pretty much follows because <clears throat> if it would have had scratches they wouldn't have got it, given it an 8 there's a little bit of a white couple dots on that edge one in that corner 
there's a kind of a bigger one down there and some in that corner and it's shifted this way thinner on that side mining pop series 3 i believe i have a plus hole that goes with this card see is the the mining is grabbing hold of, of the ear of the plus hole and the plus hole is grabbing hold of the ear of the mining and the mining is gra grabbing hold of the ear of the plus hole you know you get the picture um P.O.P. Series 3 Hollow. I think that... That could get an 8. For sure. Maybe. Maybe better. Ooh, got the 9. That might be extremely low pop. You'll just have to look over here on this uh, info over here. Alright. This one... There is a little tiny little white dot there, but besides that, back of that card looks really good. Oh, Charizard. Now this Charizard, I see a big printing line running across there. Maybe you can see a printing line on that, that like I'm seeing. It goes right across, right there. Right across this back foot. Anyway. There is a, a scratch there also, so I'm guessing that because of the hollow, this is probably, if I get an 8 out of this, it's going to be a miracle. It's probably more of a 7. It's definitely off-centered also, thinner on this side. Ah, right, got an 8. This is a, uh, we didn't really talk about it, this is from Legendary Treasures, and this is a promo because it has this uh, Cosmo hollow instead of the normal hollow. I think the Cosmo hollows look amazing. And um, that being an 8 is actually a pretty solid grade. I like that. A really cool artwork for the Charizard also. Looks very menacing. Um, got a big old white tip there. Not a tip, but a white spot on that edge. Like it got dinged pretty bad. It's definitely thicker on top. Articuno from Fossil. With that big white dot, I can hope for an 8, but it's going to be tough. Yeah, we did get an 8. That's nice. Again, vintage cards graded 8 or better, I think, are pretty solid additions to a collection. I know some people really want the really tough to get grades, the 9s and 10s, but they're very tough to get. This one, a lot of edge wear. Definitely been... Played, shuffled, loved for many years. <laughs> what is this? Oh, Raichu. <laughs> Why did I send this in? A Raichu from Stormfront Hollow. Maybe I was just looking at the Hollow because the Hollow doesn't look terrible. There are scratches though, but I, I clearly did not give it the eye that I should should have given it. I mean, it's probably a six. Yep. PSA 6, um, really no, no arguing that. It probably definitely deserved no better than that. Maybe in some weird parallel universe it could have got 7. Um, this one, the back looks really good. Very, very ever so slightly thick on the bottom. Charizard, Restaurant Charizard Tag Team Full Art GX. I really want this in a 10. That looks like a 10. Come on. Ah! PSA 9. Dang it. Oh, man. That's... Some of these other ones that got 10s. Why did they get 10s and this one got a 9? Man. Man, I don't know. If grading got down to like ten dollars a card, I would break this out and retry it. But I mean, it's slightly thick on the bottom compared to the top. But man, that's a great looking card. Looks great with the red border with the red. Whew. Wish it could have got a ten, but you can't win them all. That one. That one looks. Looks perfect on the back. Ooh, Glaceon from uh, 
This is the uh, Hidden Fates Glaceon, Shiny Glaceon. Now, as I'm looking at it, it definitely looks thicker over here. These, the Sun and Moon era borders were annoying because they're so close to the edge. If it's barely off center, it really shows. And it definitely looks thin over there, so I'd have to say it's probably a nine. Yeah, if you say nine, it would be silly of them to give that a ten. It's just off just enough. The back of that looks perfect. Venomoth GX. Unbroken Bonds. Now to me, that looks like an easy 10. 9. Wow, getting a couple of... Uh, getting stiffed on a couple of these here. Towards the end of this order that don't really make sense. Because I was getting some questionable 10s. And now the ones that look like 10s are getting 9s. Anyway... That's a really tough to pull card. It's a shame that got a nine. It's not gonna ruin my day. There's been really nice cards in this order. The back of that card looks really good. Um, really nothing, nothing showing back there. Jirachi from the Jirachi box. This was a Black Friday thing in the middle of COVID 2020. Um, I remember I was living in Texas at the time, and I searched my local Walmarts that were close by. None of them had it. I looked up online, and I found one on the uh, the east side of uh, where I, the area I lived. They had a few, so I got in my car and went down there. I, actually, I think I might have bought them online, and. Um, I don't know maybe I just went there and just bought them I bought like three or four of them and I've gotten good grades on my Jirachis so did this get a 10 it looks like a 10 there we go PSA 10 on the Black Friday Jirachi box full art Jirachi GX so it's probably not a lot of people that are able to get out and even get that card because it was in the middle of COVID times all right back of that card we're gonna this is kind of short for a uh, PSA reveal video but we only have one box left and I can't get both the boxes in one video so I'm just gonna do that last box in another video so this will be the last one in this part this looks pretty good a little bit of a white spot there a May chant from Hidden Legends oh there are definite definite scratches on the hollow so I'm going to say this is probably a 7. A 5. Wow. They did not like something about that card. And I don't understand why that got a 5. But it got a 5. But, you know, it wasn't like it was a PSA 9 or anything like that. So that will be it for this video. Um, stay tuned and we will rip into that last box to end this uh, 151 card submission later.